got my autumn essentials video for you today and I don't think I've ever done one of these so I thought why not do one because I love autumn time. If there's one thing you need to know about me it's that I come alive in autumn time. Oh it's amazing. I've just had the biggest kerfuffle trying to film this video. I've been trying to do it for like an hour now but I first sat down and the lighting was perfect. And then the next time I sat down, I forgot that it's now autumn, so the sun goes out of the sky at like 3pm. So I sat down again to film it like 20 minutes later and I was so dark so I've had to go on a manhunt for my studio lights and I found one and I really don't like studio lights but it'll do. I need to make a mental note that you have to film at 10 o'clock in autumn <laughs> or you're a bit scuppered. So I've got a whole bunch of things that are my essentials for autumn and I'm going to start off with makeup and then I've got like clothes, accessories, homeware. So starting off, I've got four nail polish and the first one is the Barry M Speedy Quick Dry in the shade Pit Stop and this is the one that I've got on today. This one is perfect for if any of you have got shorter nails because <coughs> Nelly, he is being such a pest, aren't you? You're being such a pest! Just gonna lock you out of the room while I film this. Ooh, what's going on? There's a big light, isn't there? Is it scary? This colour is perfect for those of you who've got shorter nails and just want something on them that won't attract too much attention. It's just a really nice, like, kind of lilac toned grey shade. It's not too noticeable, but there's definitely something on them. And my next one is also Barry M, and it's in the shade Coconut. And I love this one because it's like a cream shade, and I think white sometimes looks a bit too harsh. Like, I'll wear white in the summertime and really like it because it pops my tan like crazy. But in autumn time, it's nice to go on to more of a creamy colour. This just makes your nails look really long. Then I've got two Essie ones, and the first one is in Cocktail Bling. So this one is like a muted bluey grey, it's really pretty, this looks really nice on long nails, it just looks like really autumnal obviously. And the next one is one of my favourite ever nail polishes and this is Maximilian Strauss Hair by Essie and it's definitely a muted greeny shade. This just looks really weirdly classy when it's on, it's such a nice colour, I think Lily Pebbles or Viviana made me want to buy this and I love it now. On to lipsticks, I've got a darker nudie pink here, this is Max Factor's Rosewood. This would be gorgeous for darker skin tones, but it's equally as lovely on paler skin, it makes you look like Snow White, and it's just a really pretty darker nude. And the next one is Max Diva, and I always whip this one out in autumn time. This is just a really dark burgundy shade, it's a matte, so it just looks really like classy and it stays on all day and this definitely makes you look like Snow White, it's so nice. My cushion's on the floor. Ah, that's better. On to eyes. I am in love with the Naked Smoky palette, it's just got a whole bunch of shades in there that are perfect for autumn. It's got like a gold and a brown shade for if you want to go for the like golden toned smoky eye but it's full of grey and purple toned shades it's the prettiest thing ever I think a grey smoky eye suits me a lot more than a brown one does but this one just gives you both options there's a really nice silver glitter as well it's called armour I love this I just pat it over my eyelids and it makes them look spectacular like a star. If you're more into one range of the colour tone spectrum, like warm or cool toned, MAC do a couple of palettes. This is the warm toned one. After this video, I'm gonna go send it to Eve Bennett because I really don't use it. As I said, I don't I don't think I suit like goldeny smoky eyes unless I've got loads of fake tan on. So this is going to you, Eve, if I remember. <laughs> but they also do a cool toned one as well. These are really good for the price, you get a lot of shades. But you could also make your own MAC palette and this is my favourite one. In the autumn time I really like to wear olivey shades on my eyes. I've got a lot of green in my eyes so olive shades look really nice, it complements them well and so does cranberry. So I've got MAC's cranberry here and then this one which is called 
I have absolutely no idea, I haven't worn it in forever. But this is my go-to palette in the autumn time, it's just got all of my favourite shades in there. On to blusher, autumn time is the time where I like to wear a lot of blusher because in the summertime I get quite rosy cheeks anyway so I don't want to pile blush on and then get really hot and get rosy cheeks so I usually, I usually reserve it for autumn. And my favourite ever blush is Benefit's Rocketeur. It's a very, kind of a rose shade. I find this really hard to explain. It's like a rose gold shade with a lot more rose in it than gold. And it works to kind of highlight your cheekbones as well. It's just a really glowy blush and I am in love with this, honestly. I love it so much. And then I've got the Max Factor Gorgeous Berries. This is what I've got on today and I've been wearing this for the last few days. I love this, it's so pigmented, it would be amazing on darker skin, it's just a really 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 pretty dark berry shade but don't be scared to wear it if you've got pale skin, there's something that's just so pretty about it and I'm in love with these two blushes. Another thing that I think is an essential in the autumn time is a black liner. This is a coal liner so it's for your waterline not necessarily to do like cat eye flicks and stuff but because I wear so many smoky eyes. I have to have a really good liner and this is the Soap and Glory Smolder waterproof eyeliner and it's definitely waterproof. I get really dribbly eyes from my contact lenses and this just stays on all day long. I only have to reapply it like once which is amazing for me and liner. I really really like this. That's it for makeup. I'm going to move on to scents now. I've got two favourite scents, kind of ever, but I do really like these in autumn time. And the first one is Elizabeth and James Nirvana. This just comes in at black packaging. I love this. Let me try and tell you what it smells like. Nah, I can't. I will leave a description below if you want to know what it smells like, but to me, it smells quite vanilla-y, but not in an overpowering way. It smells like a really sexy perfume. That is all I can describe it as. I'm going to pick up the full size when I go to New York next month. I'm going next month. Isn't that crazy? I leave on Bonfire Night, which is sad because I really like Bonfire Night, but I'm going to New York, so I can't really complain. And the second one is the Body Shop Vanilla Body Mist. I wouldn't describe this as a sweet vanilla. I'd describe it as more of like a musky, deeper vanilla. It doesn't smell like like sickly sweet like a candle that I'm going to show you. It's got a few more notes in there that I really like and it's definitely an affordable option if you're looking for like a massively big lot of spray. <laughs> this is 100 millilitres and it lasts forever. So some of my favourite things in the autumn time are candles. I don't tend to burn candles in summer. If I do they're like blackcurrant flavoured but in autumn I love to have a bath with candles. That's so cliche but I just love it. So the first one I've got is the Yankee Candle Vanilla Frosting. Now this is overpoweringly sweet. This literally smells like icing times a million. It's so potent. I burnt this in my spare room and oh my god the room literally smelled like a cake factory. It was so nice but I definitely would not get this if you don't like sweet scents but I really really do so this is perfect for me. Another one that I love, this is the one that I use when I'm in the bath and it's the Liz Earl Rosemary and Rock Rose. This smells very spa-like. There's another one that I use, it's Eucalyptus and something. I really like that as well, but as bathroom candles, these ones are gorgeous. This is a new scent that they've come out with. Kind of smells a bit peppery, but I really don't like pepper, but I really like this scent. I don't know what I'm saying. Another candle that is crazy sweet is this Spiced Buttercream one. Oh my god. Okay, you either love this or you hate it. It smells like burnt toffee to me and I really like the smell of burnt food so that's why I like it but if you don't really like burnt smells you're not going to like this but it says ground cinnamon, nutmeg and eggnog buttercream. This is very intense but I like it. For the autumn time I like to look after my skin a lot more and I know I should look after it a lot in summer but I really don't. I feel like because I go in the sun my skin just gets so much better in summer but then as it gets to autumn it goes a lot drier. So I've got this Lavender and Basil Hand Repair by Liz Earl. This just goes in my bathroom. They also have a pink one that matches the candle. It's Rosemary and Rock Rose and I love that one as well but it's just got this really handy pump on it. 
This is such a pretty smell, it's definitely not overpowering. I am not the biggest fan of lavender scents. We used to have lavender in our garden in Sheffield and I never liked it. It's super duper moisturising. I'm definitely not a hand cream person or I wasn't before I discovered these. And now I'm obsessed with hand cream. My hands feel amazing. I've never used it because I find it sticky, but this one is not sticky in the slightest. Super moisturising, really intense. My mum has super dry hands as well and she loves this hand cream. Oh, I love it so much. It's literally just a moisturiser for your hands, but it sinks in really quickly. It's not sticky. It's amazing. But you don't just want to be looking after your hands more, you want to look after your body more as well. So for this, I like to use the Spar of the World Dead Sea Salt Scrub from The Body Shop. This smells like melon to me, I really like it. And I just use this to scrub away any dead skin that I've got. It works really, really well and it's such a nice product. And then on top of that, when I get out of the shower, I love the Hawaiian QQ Cream. Oh my God, what does this smell like? It's so nice. I'm trying to work out what it smells like, but I can't figure it out. It's like a sweet shea butter to me. It smells a little bit fruity, but not too much. I've used so much of this. I love this so much. It's so moisturizing. I love the pot. It looks really classy, sat in my bathroom. This is just an amazing, amazing product. All of the Spa of the World range, I'm obsessed with. So I would recommend that like times 10 billion. Another body product that is amazing in the autumn time. I use this all year round just because I love the smell. This is perfect for autumn and it's the Rich and Foamus by Soap and Glory Dual Use Shower and Bath Body Wash. So you can use it in the shower and the bath, obviously, should you wish to. And this smells like cake, literally cake. That is all I smell. Or like, oh my God, it just smells like cookies. This is the nicest thing ever. If they ever discontinue this, I'm gonna cry for weeks because this, I just rebuy this and rebuy this. I must have gone through like 20 by now. It's got almond oats and brown sugar scent. Oh, it's so nice. Go and smell this and then tweet me if you like it. And my final body product is a Lush bath bomb. This is my favorite ever bath bomb and it is the Twilight one. This to me smells like cinnamon and when you blow a fire out, and then you get that smell of the flame. That's what it smells like to me. But when you pop this in your bath, it just <coughs> <coughs> when you pop this in your bath, it just explodes into pink and blue, and then it leaves your bath glittery and purple. It's amazing. I love this with all my heart. I may as well talk about my favorite bubble bar while I'm talking about Lush. I love the Comfort to Bubble Bar. It's pink and white, smells like black currant. And you just take a bit, crumble it into a bath and it turns it pink and bubbly. And who doesn't want that? <gasps> ah! They also do a blue one and they do an orange one as well if you don't like pink, but the pink one is so nice. So for the autumn time, I like to read more. I like to just cuddle up in a blanket and read. So I've got my Kindle, I've recently just got this. I've got so many books on this and I would say they're definitely worth the investment. I actually got sent mine for a video but I, it's something that I've genuinely been using and I've been reading more and I'm trying to learn more words and expand my vocabulary and be like Vanessa Feltz who has so many words in her little brain. <laughs> I love this. I would recommend just reading books, like just reading more. It's such a good thing to do. It makes your brain work and we all need to put Netflix down for 10 minutes a day. Just 10 minutes guys, bear with me. And just pick up a book and read. Onto homeware. The first thing that I love is obviously fairy lights. If you can see in the background, my flat came with these fairy lights built into my shelves, which is so cool. I've covered them up mostly, but you can still kind of see them. I came out with my own homeware range and they had these ones in, which are rose gold, and they've got sequins on and they're just so, so, so pretty. I've also got some on my stairs that are from Urban Outfitters and they're copper, but I've got these all over my house because I love them. I'm really struggling to breathe today. I think I've got a chest infection back. I thought I'd just got rid of everything, but now I'm like, oh, can't breathe. I used to suffer with asthma really badly as a kid. So now whenever I seem to get an illness, it goes straight onto my chest, whether that part of my body is just like 
less immune to stuff, I don't know. As you'll probably know, in my homeware range that I brought out, I brought out a blanket and it is gorgeous and I love it so much, but I went back to Primark the other day and they had this beast. And oh my God, I'm in love with it. I can't stop wearing it. It's so furry and nice. And it's just the love of my life right now. I think it was 25 quid, which is expensive. And I got two, so that's like 50 quid. But I was looking at some others that were 50 pounds each. So Primark's still winning the game. On to accessories. I've got these gloves and these were from River Island. They're little grey gloves with white fur little bobbles on. These look so nice when they're on. They fit my hand perfectly. I think I got the smallest size and I've got really tiny hands, like seriously. I know a lot of girls say that, but then they meet me and it's like, whoa, okay, your hands are small. They're tiny. These fit them perfectly and look how good these look. Don't they just look amazing? I think it's so cool. They also do them in a bunch of other colours as well. And there's a black one with a black pom-pom that I really want to. But for now, I've got these grey ones. I'm obsessed love them. Another thing that I think is an autumn essential is some lovely boots and these are actually heeled boots so they're probably not as practical as like just normal flat ones but I think they're lovely anyway and they're from River Island too and it's these ones they've just got a wooden heel and they're black leather these are so unbelievably comfy and I love them my feet are a size four though and I always feel like when I put shoes on my feet just look ridiculously small. I used to buy shoes in a size five or six just so that my feet looked more normal, but uh, I'm getting old now. I need to look after my feet. I've also got these in this gorgeous gray color. This kind of matches the gloves as well. So they can be worn as a little pair. How nice are these? I love them. Finally, for the autumn time, I think turtlenecks are a must, like the one that I've got on today. I think this one was from Topshop last year, but everywhere I'll have them this year. And then the next thing that I think is an essential is some sort of black dress. I go to a lot of events in the winter time. It's like event central. And I picked up this leather dress from Topshop. I think it's gorgeous. It's just this shift dress style and it's all in leather and it's got these leather sleeves. I actually think it's faux leather. It doesn't say, but it was only 55 pounds, so I'm pretty sure it's faux leather. So yeah, it's just got these sleeves and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress and I can't wait to wear these, but any kind of black dress I think is a must have for autumn. They look so classy and just so nice. And some sort of leather jacket. This is actually a suede jacket. This is from River Island and it's in this kind of pinky nude shade and it's got tassels on it. Tassels have been huge this year. The back is just completely covered in tassels as well. And this is really nice for if you're going for more of a casual look. That'd be nice over that leather dress actually. It'd add a nice little contrast. Look at me being got one. If you're from another country, you'll be like, who the chuff is got one? <laughs> another thing that I think is a necessity for the autumn time is a fur vest. This is faux fur again. And this black one is from Topshop and it's actually quite a bit longer. It comes like mid thigh for me, so it covers my bum up, which is nice. And yeah, there's not really much to say about this other than I really like faux fur gilets. I've got another as well that's also from Topshop. And this is in this pinky shade, super pretty. And this is more of a cut off one, so it finishes around your hips. But I just love fur gilets for autumn. They're nice as well, especially if you live somewhere like London or a city that has an underground, because it gets so hot on the underground. So when it goes a bit colder, you don't wanna be wearing a full on coat. So they're just nice to add a little bit of warmth. And the last clothing item that I think is an essential is a plaid shirt. And this is a black and white one from River Island. Oh my God, I've been loving River Island. I got this in a 16, so it'd be a couple sizes biggest that I could wear it just with leggings and it'd be like the oversized look on me. But I think this is lovely. Just any kind of like oversized grandad plaid or checkered shirt I think is really nice for the autumn. You can wear it with basically everything as well. It looks so good with leather jackets but they look really good with fur gilets as well if you want to wear them with that. They just look really good and they're so versatile and comfortable. Another thing that I think is an essential for autumn is a good TV show. Now 
Autumn is the time for me where I just like to snuggle down and either read my Kindle or watch TV. So I think definitely a good TV show is essential. Right now I'm watching Switched at Birth, which is really good, but Pretty Little Liars, Revenge, Prison Break, Bates Motel, I would recommend them wholeheartedly, and The Vampire Diaries, the originals. I love so many TV shows, but definitely for autumn, get yourself a good one and do a marathon. Same goes for films as well. Get yourself the Hunger Games series and watch it back to back. I did that last year. It was so great. Pretty sure I've been filming this video for like 40 minutes now, which is insane. The last things that I love specifically in the autumn time is gingerbread. Please don't argue with me on this one. Morrison's gingerbread is the absolute one. It's amazing, it's so nice, it's so like not crispy, it's more like a biscuit. Oh, oh, it's so nice. But I love gingerbread loads in the autumn time. I just eat it loads. And also I've been obsessed with oranges. I've been cutting like big Java oranges into quarters and I've just been eating them. They remind me of autumn for some reason, which is weird because they're a fruit and they come in season in summer probably, but I like them in autumn. And I also love hot chocolate. I'm not a big hot chocolate drinker, but when I do have one, I always really enjoy it. So that is the end of my Autumn Essentials video. This was so long, I'm now surrounded in a mess for like a two meter diameter around me, it's crazy. But I'm gonna go tidy all this up and pop a face mask on and watch Bates Motel. That sounds like a fabulous idea to me. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you would like one of these for winter and I will do one and I will see you in my next video. Bye.